so what's up guys special sammy here and in this particular video we're going to talk about this epic puppet effect now what is a puppet effect it is like a picture taken with a photograph of city or something and i'm going to just reverse the photograph of the city so that it gives epic kind of parallax effect and i'm going to add some fake motion to that particular picture of the person so that it looks a little bit trippy and with proper keyframes and motion this can be done extremely well so this is the final result and it can be done only in after effects and I'm going to make the PSD file for this particular technique in Photoshop because the selection of the person from a picture is way more smoother in Photoshop. So let's get right into it. So first in Photoshop, what you need to do is you need to make a canvas size of 1920 by 1080. Make sure it matches with your footage of the timeline, otherwise there'll be a lot of confusion. Make sure to dry a cityscape or any other footage or any other background which you like. In my case, I'm going to use a cityscape of a nighttime footage and I'm going to just reverse this particular clip. I'm going to reverse this particular frame so that it gives a much more trippy effect. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a silhouette of a person, which is this one. Now I have just extracted this silhouette of a, another picture, which you can take anywhere from the internet or you can green screen yourself also and then remove the background later. Like from the internet, I had in this particular picture. This is the picture which I had taken and I just simply removed the background and you can do the same also. And I will give the link to background removal tutorials down below because it will be a long tutorial if I explain that part also. So after you make this, make this as two separate layers, make sure to export it as a PSD file and then jump right into After Effects. So here we are in After Effects. First thing what you guys need to do is you need to import the PSD file you can just simply drag the PSD file onto the After Effects timeline just like this and make sure editable layer styles and composition written layer sizes are ticked and click on OK. And then click on composition, new composition and make sure the resolution is selected properly like in my case I'm going to take it as 1920 by 1080 and the duration around 10 seconds. And then click on OK. Now I'm going to just simply drag the Photoshop file onto the main composition, then double tap on that and then right click transform fit to composition size because we want the Photoshop layer to fit completely with the composition layer. Now if you double click the sample layer, you're going to see two layers, one the person layer and one the background layer. I'm going to just drag the person a little bit on the downside just like this. Now go to this pin option tool which is then on the top hand panel and then start making points on the hand on the elbow on the face on the body on the, that area on the hand on the knee on the leg on the knee on the other leg and on the leg again so you are going to see so many options just like this and then once you open the layer and then click on the puppet effect and then click on mesh and then click on deform you're going to see all the spin points already there and you can see this particular points which are already here and these are the keyframes which you have made while you were making these key points so if you were in the first frame then these keyframes would have been formed in the first frame as my dial was not on the first frame so the keyframes were formed on the right hand side so just choose another end frame the frame where your footage is going to end just like this one and then click on the default and then you are going to see all the points here and then you can play with these points like see you can actually move them and you will see that after a certain time after the rendering the animation will be very much seamless and these movements will look very natural so you can make this movement as many times as you want as many puppet points as you make this effect will look much more smoother so just let me render this part out so as you can see it is a bit slow the movement is a bit slow so i'm going to make another keyframe on the center like just around four or five seconds later because it is a bit too slow for you guys to actually see so i'm going to just make another keyframe just like this for example if i just speed it up you can see the movement here right here you can see the movement but i'm going to just make another keyframe on the middle on around the eighth second or the ninth second so that the speed is much more faster right around here maybe around the fifth second because i want the speed to be much more faster so around this position i'm going to play with the points again like this i'm going to drag it 
I'm going to change this position and this time I'm going to make a much more drastic position so that the change is much more noticeable than the previous one. But it is up to you how you guys actually play with this. So I'm going to just play with the settings and all just like this, just like this, the head also. So I'm going to just let it render once more. So as you can see the movement is much more drastic right now and it looks much more better than the previous one like as you can see there is a movement there now we are going to go to the second part which is i'm going to add the movement of the position also like i'm going to go to the first frame for this particular technique and go to the first frame i'm going to just drag the y a little bit on the lower hand side and set a keyframe drag the keyframe to the first frame just like this and then I'm going to go to the ending frame and then I'm going to just drag it up in such a way that it looks like it is going upwards and then I'm going to select both the keyframes and click on easy ease so as you can see along with the movement of the hands we are getting a fake movement which is going on the upper hand side now I'm going to go to the background layer and in this background layer also we are going to edit it in such a way that the background seems to come downwards while the foreground which is the person seems to go upwards so we want to keyframe this in such a way that it is going downwards so first we want to just scale it up just a little so that there are no black edges and then go to the first frame and then play with the y axis and set a keyframe drag the keyframe to the first frame and then go to this position set a keyframe and then drag it a little bit on the lower hand side and then that is pretty much it and then we can easy ease by right clicking and click on easy ease so as you can see the foreground is going upwards while the background is going downwards and i've just added a little bit of glitch effect also and with proper sound effects this is the final result